In today's video, I want to show you how to install Postmarket. This distribution is oriented to mobile devices, so it's easier to use with a touch screen. For example, in the right part, we have the three navigation buttons. The one to go to the home screen, the one to go to the background apps, and the one to close the actual app. As you can see, you can open the background apps, close everything like if it is an Android device, or open one of the applications that was already open before. So let's go to the process on how to install this distribution. As always, the first thing is open my repository and take a look to everything. I have added this new distribution to the peerroot section, so we just need to click on the link. Here you can see all the different distributions, but we are going to click on Postmarket. Here we are going to go first to the first steps, so we just need to copy these commands and paste it into the books. Once the process finished, we are going again to the repository and let's copy the second part. In the second part, we are going to install Alpine as a peer root distribution, so let's go with the commands. The first one is for installing Alpine and the second one is to log into the Alpine distribution directly. Here you can see that the command has changed to localhost, so we now we are inside Alpine. So now we can continue with the rest of the commands. So let's go again to the repository and copy in the second batch of commands. Here we are going to add the postmarket repository to Alpine, so we can install all the packages needed for postmarket. And for the last command, just press enter. Once everything is finished, we are going to go again to the repository and let's continue with the process. In this part, we are going to create our user. Take a look here and remember to change the user part with your username. In my case, I will leave user, but you can change it. So again, just copy the first part into Termux and here we are going to need to write the password. Write the password two times and click enter, but please take into account that we need to just write numbers. If not, we are not going to be able to log in later. So just use numbers here. For example, I'm using 1234. Write the password two times and continue with the process. Now we are going to give the user root permissions with this command, so paste them into Termux. Wait until the process finishes again, because this is going to install also some packages needed. And now, although we have some warning message, everything is fine, so we are going to continue with the process. And to finish everything, we are going to modify the operative system information. That way, we are going to see post-market information instead of Alpine. Now, what we are missing is how to run this in Termos X11. So again, go to my repository, and we are going to download and run the script to start Termos X11. So just paste the commands into Termux and wait until the Termux X11 application is launched. And once Termux X11 is open, we need to drag from the bottom part and write our password. The first time I opened the application menu from the bottom part, I didn't have any application. So what I did is run again the start script. So I close Termux X11, Control C in Termux and execute again the start KDA script. So you need to log in again and now you will see all this application. And now you should be able to use most of them. For example, the Fight Explorer should work fine. And also, I recommend you taking a look to the settings. Because KDE Plasma has a lot of different settings and you, guys, you can customize a lot of things. You can download new icon themes, you can download new window style, and everything from the settings menu. For example, here you can look for the icons tab and look for them. I recommend you in the top part uh, modifying the filter to show the most rated one. So you will see first the most famous. For example, here I will download this one, the Tesla Cycle theme. You can select the variant you want. For example, I will select Dracula. And now you just need to wait until the process finishes. Now you can go back to the previous menu. And here you can select the icon theme that you have just downloaded. Also, I recommend you taking a look to the global theme tab, so you can change, for example, to the dark mode. Finally, I will show you how to install some programs. For example, here, you just need to open the terminal and you can install Firefox with the command apkey add Firefox. You can do the exact same thing with Chromium with the command you are seeing on the screen, apkey add Chromium. And to be honest, I couldn't run Firefox well because I had an error that it couldn't display the screen. So if you know a solution for this, please let me know in the description. But I can run Chromium with the no sandbox flag, so I will show you how to do it. So to run it, we only need to add the no sandbox flags like in any other peer root distribution. And we will have this message. I recommend you selecting the first option and we are going to be prompt with a password. In my case, I 
close the message and Chromium open well. So anyway, you can use it. So I hope you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe and let me know which other distribution you would like to see in the channel.